Hello K family, it's me again, and we're going to do an unboxing of a new game. Thanks to the wonderful thing that is data corruption, we're doing this all over again without all of the magic of the actual unboxing. So uh, normally I don't endorse a game because I like to try to stay like in that nice middle ground where I don't have an opinion, but then I played this and that, that's the problem. So when I first heard about this game, I watched a review on it, it was on my radar, I watched the review, the review was done terribly, so I was like, meh. Then I went to play it at a friend's house, it was taught great, I played the game, and thus began my addiction. Um, this is worker placement and deck building, it is extremely meaty strategy, and I love this. So it is actually based off a legendary movie that's come, or the legendary company um, that made this movie. Um, so again, these are going to be based off the characters in the film, and it's also done by Dire Wolf Games. They actually have an app that lets you play with two players, and the app plays as the third player, which I thought was really kind of cool. I've played it several times at two. I've uh, played it at four players, so I'd like to get to three a couple times and see how it is, but again, it has dual purpose cards, so your first round you're going to be making choices as to what to do on the board. And then the second half, you're going to be choosing what to buy as far as your deck building. So, um, full of amazing, amazing strategy. I am really itching to get into this one. So, come to me. We're going to look at Dude Imperium. And I'm going to show you why it's amazing. Thank you. All right, family. Here we are, the unboxing. Um, it's not as dramatic as the first time, but I've tried to recreate this loving experience. So, uh, the first thing I saw when I opened this was this amazing sandworm, which you are a fan of the Dune lore, you know exactly what's going on here. This is a lot of trouble waiting to happen. I love this. This is exactly how it came out, and I was excited the second I saw this. So, good rule book. Good rule book. It explains very well how to set up, how to go through everything. So, again, very, very well done. It has a single and two player rules. It has, again, a reference for all the shenanigans in the games. Uh, here's the player board, which this is nice and stout. Mine has seen about four or five plays at this point. So again, you can kind of see after about five or six plays, you can I can see them from here, like a couple scratches from where we've moved things on. But to me, not a big deal. I can only see them because the light's shining on. But again, good artwork, lots of choices here. We're going to get further down into it. Now you're going to see that I've already kind of sleeved it and organized it, so you kind of get to see how my little mind works. These are all the main characters. Um, again, I would probably laminate these leaderboards uh, simply because they're cardstock and it will protect them. So I haven't done it yet, but I'm getting to it because reasons. Um, I have stored these wooden meeples, so each color has its own little thing. So these are all the player representations here of the different houses. So I like that. Um, they have miniature conflict cards, which is basically you're going to be fighting throughout the game for cash and prizes, as a friend of mine likes to call them. So these are going to be things that you don't have to do, but you're going to really want to do. Um, all the artwork in this game is very, very super amazing. Um, some of it's pretty, you know, pretty simple. And again, like I was talking about when we first opened, some of these are going to give you things to do during the beginning of your turn, and some are going to give you the end of the turn. So doing that strategy throughout is one of those things where you're always constantly thinking, okay, if I play this card now, what is it going to prevent me from doing? Uh, again, I spoke earlier about the app. So these cards are if you don't use the app, which I love the app. It makes it so much easier than dealing with these cards. I, I love that they did this, but that since I have the app, I, I really have not used them. So I recommend the app. It does all the hard work for you, the heavy lifting as to say. Uh, I do lots of color-coded component trays. So again, this is part of how I organize the game. I love doing that. You're going to have what are called uh, intrigue cards. So these are like what break the game, basically. You're going to have your basic rules, but these, tr these uh, intrigue cards can change the rules drastically in the game. Here's the actual... This is not the actual stuff. This is the actual stuff. So here's some of the artwork from some of the things you can buy in the game. Um, let's see if I can find one that's really cool. This is really good. I, like I said, I've, I've played several games. I've not seen the win condition be the same 
and about four or five games that I've played, each win condition has been unique, which is a big thing for me. There's Gurney Halleck, so if you know the Dune lore, you're going to get Gurney Halleck. He is in here. I think Lady Jessica is in here. So again, that's why I do it. Here's Solari. That's the, that's one of the sources of money, I guess you want to call it. But it's not actually horribly useful in the game. That's the thing. Um, your 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 source of money comes from the the economy comes from the bottoms of the cards, like I was talking about earlier. So to buy things, it's to, to buy cards. You have to use this money, but to buy influence on the board game, you use Solari. So it's kind of a little wonky in that area because you can actually have tons of Solari, but you may not have anything you can do with it. Which I know that sounds really, really stupid, but you kind of get used to it after a while because you're like, oh, if I have all this Solari and nothing to do with it, then I've kind of gone down this wrong path. And that's a way to know that you've done something wrong. Again, normally I do not recommend a game, but I absolutely positively 100% back this game. I highly suggest you at least try it at a game night. Uh, if you love deck building, if you love strategy, if you love worker placement, this has all of those lovely, meaty strategy feelings to it. And without any of the high calories. Ha <laughs> ha, made it funny. Alright, anyway, uh, we always appreciate the fact if you like and subscribe our show, that lets us know we're on the right path uh, and that we're not wasting our lives chasing around Yu Gi Oh cards. Oh, I'm sorry, Patrick, I had to go there. It's all good. <laughs> anyway, uh, guys, we thank you so much for uh, always watching these videos. Make sure you please, uh, again, like and subscribe, support a local shop. Uh, support gamers having fun with their shop and being a part of an amazing community. Have a good night.